Welcome back to 2018. Uh, we're going to continue with our Tyndale show this year, and this morning I'm talking with Matt Howard. Uh, Matt's been at the school for a lot of years. Uh, Matt, tell us about your role. What do you do here? I'm the head of sport here at Tyndale. I spend a lot of time working with uh, students, so coaching students and developing the sports program. I spend uh, a lot of my time working in the sports office with uh, Melissa McAvoy and Karen Williams, who are the sports administrators, who many of our parents would know. Uh, we put together uh, our training schedules, our um, weekly sporting teams, our representative sporting teams. I also represent Tyndale on the uh, Saxa sporting committee. Um, so we, I spend a lot of my time during sort of planning, leadership and uh, organising sporting opportunities for students here at Tinder. So let's talk about sporting opportunities and as a big school we do have lots on the go. Uh, tell us firstly about weekly sport. So a weekly sports program at Tindall, uh predominantly focuses around basketball and netball. We have, uh, we, we have a, a lot of basketball teams that play on a weekly basis, usually on a Saturday morning, uh, mm -hmm. Saturday afternoon, uh, which is open to all students uh, who would like to be involved, uh, as long as we can find coaches. Uh, we have also have a, a netball program that runs uh, on a weekly basis, so usually on a Monday and a Friday. And we've also developed just recently a really exciting new program uh, going to district netball, where we'll be, uh, we've employed a uh, permanent uh, full-time, not a full-time, sorry, a part-time coach and she will be uh, sort of overseeing those teams and developing our netball program into the future. Our sporting culture as a school is really strong and uh, as the largest Christian school um, in the state, uh, we feel like we've got a real responsibility to, to represent in, in lots and lots of sports. Yeah. What do we compete in and uh, where, where do you think our strengths are? Look, we compete in a lot of different sports, uh, from touch to athletics, basketball, netball, uh, cross country, uh, table tennis, volleyball, uh, you name it, we're, we're involved in a lot of different sports. I guess we see ourselves a little bit in a leadership role amongst the, the Christian schools. We have to, we, we want to do everything really well. We want to um, represent our, our school well. We want to, um, I guess we want to look, look professional, act professional and, and do things in a, in a correct way. And part of that uh, culture is, is really, um, the kids really embrace that, they get on with it. We have many representative teams that go out um, quite often. And most, a lot of weeks we have two or three different teams that go out and represent our school uh, to play against the, the other Christian schools in the state. Um, we've done very well. We're quite often the, um, uh, the biggest winner in that competition. Um, we, we have particular strengths, I would say, probably in touch football. Yep. Uh, we've recently, we've done very well in our uh, Aussie rules football. Uh, we've also done, uh, starting to do very well in our netball. Uh, cross country has also, also been a strong point for us. So I'd say that we're probably, uh, I guess, pretty consistent across the board, which is probably our overall strength. For a consistent school, we do well in everything that we sort of put our hand to, which is nice. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. Now there's a, a particular sporting event that's coming up uh, a little bit later on this year, um, which we're involved in on, on a yearly basis. Tell us a bit about Heathdale. So the Heathdale Exchange, uh, we participate in uh, every year. Uh, on a sort of, we, we, we participate here at Tyndale one year and then we're at Heathdale the following year. Um, or away, and this year we're lucky enough to be hosting it, which is really exciting. Uh, so we, it's a very large program. Heathdale uh, Christian School from Wirribee, Victoria, come over. Uh, there's 16 different activities and sports that we participate in uh, for that week. Uh, really exciting competition. Uh, at the moment, we are uh, we're up. We're winning that competition 11-9. Uh, so we're pretty excited about uh, uh, taking that to 12-9 this year uh, with the exchange. We have. Um, uh, a variety of different sports and cultural activities for that exchange and we usually get at home we have around 100 students involved in that for the week so it's a really exciting cultural event that all the kids get behind, staff get behind uh, and yeah we're really looking forward to that will be in June this year so it's exciting. Fantastic. Sounds really really busy. Um, how do you communicate then? Yeah. How about we wrap up with that? Yeah. What, what do you use to communicate to parents and to students? so that they know what teams and all of those sort of things. Yeah, good question. So basically our main port of communication uh, with parents is TMAP, which is a, an Android and uh, app, app Store app, which you can download, search for Tyndale, um, and then you'll receive notifications instantly about sporting events, tryouts, trainings, when they're happening, which is really helpful for cancellations of tryouts and trainings. It's great for parents on the fly to just look at their phones and find out when things are. Our kids use it as well. Yeah. Uh, so basically that's our main port of communication, but we also do send home uh, sort of letters and notes as well, which sort of cover some of the more complex things that we're doing. So if you keep your eye out for those things, that's the best way to, to uh, hear about the sports. But you're also welcome to call our direct line at, at the sports office, which is 8282 and we'll be happy to help you with any inquiries that, any, any queries that you have. Yeah.